Hello everyone, my name is Julia Casoli and I'm part of the Global Industry Practice at Peterson Partners. I'm focusing on clean tech, sustainability and renewable energy. Uh, today I would like to take this opportunity to share my view on how we can keep the momentum of growth in the clean tech space and how uh, clean energy can uh, power the recovery of economies globally. First of all, clearly COVID-19 will make it tougher to keep the necessary pace of clean tech development. The economic slowdown, liquidity issues and the decrease of electricity prices will make it harder to attract investors. At the same time, the way of working has changed over the last few months with less direct human interaction and on-site meetings being replaced by remote work and video conferences. This is a difficult development, especially in the R&D space. And given that cleantech innovation is driven by innovation between experts from different areas like engineering, economics and others. Joining forces will become more important than ever to be able to bring sustainable technologies to the market. Choosing the right corporate partners, appropriate funding, legal and business partners, as well as social acceptance of the new technologies must be taken into consideration at a very early stage. According to the Wuppertal Institute for Climate, Environment and Energy, there are three steps to boost the development in clean tech after the COVID-19 crisis. First of all, encourage an interdisciplinary project-based work environment with all digital support tools. Secondly, communicate complex technologies to a broader audience. And then focus on breakthrough ideas with scale-up potential and short-term go-to-market potential. So what do we actually mean by clean tech? Clean tech represents a wide range of products, services, processes, all focusing on reducing or eliminating negative ecological impact, responsible use of natural resources, increasing performance and reducing cost. Clean tech includes many industries like, for example, energy generation and storage, energy infrastructure, energy efficiency, transport, waste, water, recycling, agriculture, food, innovative materials. If we look specifically into clean energy, it could power and speed up the recovery from COVID-19, especially in the world's poorest regions. For example, by providing reliable energy access through decentralized small-scale off-grid uh, power, solar power systems. On the other hand, large-scale renewable energy projects could become an engine for job creation in the post-pandemic time. Ambitious green stimulus plans will help countries restore their economies while deepening their energy transition. Investments in new technologies like green hydrogen will be a game changer for entire economies. Germany, for example, just presented their master plan for green hydrogen with an investment plan of billions of euros. So what are the main challenges for leadership in this new scenario? Successful executives will use online and digital tools as much as possible to ensure a fluent communication. Empathy is key right now, as well as being open to new interdisciplinary ways of working. Now is a good time to reassess our options to accelerate the clean energy transition to sustain a recovery that is better for all.